Hello, it's Rob here and welcome to another unboxing. Today we've got an Udi Power Rally four-wheel drive, I think, RC car, 1 16th scale. And I'm going to have a look at it and I will probably show you putting on one of these hop-up uh, oil-filled shocks. So let's get into it, eh? Well, so far it looks fantastic. If only I could get it out. <laughs> oh, German soldiers. Well, it states on the box. Let's flat it down so you can see better. It comes with the controller, a shock assembly, a steering servo, waterproof ESC and gyro. It didn't say that in the uh, advertisement. Power system, <laughs> would be nice to tell you what motor it is. And all road aggression tyres. Uh, not a lot on the uh, back but you can get the uh, Lancia Delta, but honestly, I looked at it in the pictures and that looks fine there, but for some reason, to me, the Lancia proper photos of it, um, it looks like a toy, is the best way I can describe it. So, when I saw this one, I... Uh, Looked at it and thought this looks loads better, so that's why I went for it. So we will get it all apart off camera because this is probably going to be a nightmare. So I'll be back. Here we have it all unpacked Oops. with the remote. And another surprise for me was it comes with drift wheels and tyres as well as the off-road tyres and here's the body and something else I didn't know is you get lights with it already installed so that's that it comes with a battery so I stuck that on charge so that can go out the way for a minute and then here we have the chassis but these shocks, I've got to be honest and say, are awful and not cheap and yeah, so I've got these, I'm hoping these are going to be a lot better. They are, according to this, metal hydraulic shocks. So there's the number, it's a Pucker Genuine Udi from Schumacher. So um, let's try these. Need scissors. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So, well, they feel a lot smoother, and they're adjustable for preload. So let's try and work out. How to swap one? No, nope. not too small. We need the is it two mil hex adapter or hex drive Allen key? If you've got Allen keys, it does come with uh, a little Allen key, but I hate using them when I've got these sort of screwdrivery ones. And we pop it up, and the other side doesn't come up. <laughs> uh, come on, there we go. So the other one, the other the replacement should just pop on. Hey, 
and then we screw it in to the topmost hole like so and then a lot smoother and notchier but before I put the others on I will check to see if there's any oil in them and if not I'll put some oil in them so we'll do that a bit later right we have four-wheel drive with metal dog bones and a metal prop shaft running down the middle you can't quite see it I don't think the motor not sure might be a 380 oh so we've we've even got a light at the back as well it's a combined um, ESC receiver with gyro it says so uh, I'll have a look at that once one of the batteries is charged um, in the meantime I think I'll leave it there for the minute and uh, I don't think oh yeah sorry no there is something else the body still has the overspray film on as I hope you can see there and I may well have to yeah, take these bits off these bits here are screwed in and hold the lights on so I may have to take them off I may have to take the whole lot off so yeah I will do all of that and uh, come back to you because uh, I'm not leaving any of this overspray film on so with that see you soon okay so I'm back folks and first off is the body shell now with the overspray film off it's a bit staticky so there's uh, quite a bit of dust and debris attached itself to it but hey take a long hard look because it's never going to look like that again anyway so that's the front that's the body the chassis I've changed all the shocks and yes they do have oil in them and on changing them what I've discovered is the rears are longer than the front so there we go but uh, yeah I do think these springs are a lot harder than these ones so I'm hoping we can adjust them better right as you can see I'll put the drift tires and wheels on because it's looking rather grim outside so I don't even think I'm going to take it out in the yard at the minute but I might do if it doesn't start pouring down in the next half an hour or so but hey uh, so yes um, coming back to the car it's four wheel drive as I've mentioned and we have the controller that's got a few settings um, first of all the obvious ones is steering and throttle we've got the standard reversing of the steering and throttle and we've got steering dual rate and steering trim and then this one here which says ESP minus or plus no I don't know why they've called it ESP um, because what it states in the manual is it's the electronic stability system so why the P 
I don't know. But hey, so it controls the gyroscope, which is a bonus because I didn't know it was coming with that. Um, so he says it sets roughly in the middle now, and what I've discovered on that is uh, it only works when uh, it's moving so we'll come to that in a second so we've got the on off button and channel 4 which is the uh, speed limiter so we've got low medium and high speed on that we've then got this channel 3 here which uh, does the lights and then one press turns them off, next press just turns the headlights on, then the blue main beams, and then all off again. Oh, and then we've got the blue ones on, and then the white ones, and then all off again. So that's that. Alright, here we are, we've got this on, and as I say, Nothing happens, but once I start going, you should see it turning. And then, if I whack it all the way to plus, you'll see how much more it turns. And whack it all the way down to minus. turns it off. So I'm quite impressed with all of that. So the next thing to do is going to be to take it downstairs and see if I can do any drifting, which will be a miracle if I can. Um, just before we leave though, as I say, you get tools and the wheel nuts are the five and a half mil ones, some spare ball joints an Allen key, some spare steering, some spare R clips, all with the kit and not forgetting the drift wheels as well as the rally wheels and tyres. So I'll get it all back together and uh, see how we go. There we have it folks, the first view of my new UD1604 rally car. I hope you've enjoyed watching and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Cheers, bye!